Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of our Let's Play Minecraft series with the Regions Unexplored mod. Where we left off, we just finished this glorious house, and right before our eyes, a willow tree that I just planted off camera has sprouted to life! So let me harvest that. We're going to need a lot of willow for one of the builds I have planned. I have some big plans for this episode. I even have an objective board I put up so I wouldn't forget anything. And first order of business, we need to find my horse! So yeah, I'm gonna go looking for him, and as soon as we find him, we will build another portal and get some blaze rods so I can go cure that villager that I left over yonder, somewhere that way. And then we have a lot of resource gathering to do, and we are going to build a massive barn for our horses! And also to put our villager breeder in, we're gonna have our villager breeder inside it, and also our farmers, so we'll have an unlimited supply of emeralds and golden carrots. Apples don't grow on willow trees, what's wrong with this game? I need more saplings please, because I need a lot of willow for this build, and I need even more redwood for this build. But yeah, here are the planks that I was talking about. The, uh, the, the way these planks look, you see there's two boards per plank, as opposed to what normal planks have, which is four boards. So it's gonna have a more rustic, a uh, heavy-duty construction look. Also, the color is just perfect for what I have in mind for a barn. Let us embark on a journey to find our poor horse that I ditched somewhere. Uh, I lost him when I was looking for mangrove. Look at this beautiful biome. Here's the funny thing: I actually didn't know I wasn't. I didn't know that cherries were going to be added in Minecraft 1.20. I wasn't really paying attention to the snapshots in the development. So all of these are going to be uh, obsolete very soon. But one thing that this mod has that the new update won't have is the leaf colors. There's three colors of leaves. No, four colors. There's pink. There's... Oh, jeez. I probably shouldn't move while I'm zoomed. <laughs> Whatever that is. White, pink, red, and green. Or I guess the green is just the basic. So there's four variants of the cherries. <gasps> There's my horse! Wow, <laughs> that was easier than I thought. <laughs> I thought I left you farther away than that. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't have to go on a long journey. And now that we have a horse, our horse restored, we can begin our next quest, which is the nether. First, Shreep! I think I lost all of my obsidian. Huh, I need to go mine more of it before I can build my portal. Something I've been thinking about is where I want to put all of these villager buildings. And I think, I think I'd like to put them over there. So I'll maybe clear out some of these trees, terraform a bit, flatten the area, and we'll have a massive barn. And then later in the series, we will build a library for our librarians. And I have a design that I created in a creative world, but it's going to require a block that I don't have, which is skulk wood. One of the unique blocks to this mod. Oh boy, we found a big cave. Shoot, okay. How do I get down there? Hello, Zermy! Are you looking for some fun? I can give you fun! Ho ho ho, yeah! I give you the best kind of fun. The kind you don't survive! Ho ho! Oh geez, I almost got him. But he got me instead. <laughs> Okay, what was it down here for? Oh yeah, I'm looking for obsidian. I see a skeleton party, and as always, I like to bait them to fight each other. Ho ho ho! May the best skeleton win! We're the first two contendants. And we have a winner! Very good, very good. Look at this. We have another prisma chasm over here. I haven't really explored a full-on prisma chasm that was completely underground like this. This is so cool. Good grief. And I saw in the creative menu, this is called Pris... Prismos? I don't remember. Uh, whatever it is, I assume that I need Silk Touch to pick it up. But if I could get it, I could create a rainbow floor in one of my builds, and that would be sweet. But I don't have Silk Touch yet, so I gotta leave it alone for now. One nice thing about them, though, is they emit light, so I don't have to light the caves up so much. I see shiny blue rocks in the wall. Is there any more? Oh, crap. Hello, creepy. I'll take that block, thanks. Get wrecked. 
Okay, I came down here to get obsidian and I ended up getting a bunch of other stuff. Hello, Zermi. Ooh, I see treasure. What do we got? Eh, uh, not bad. Boom! Oh, there's diamonds right here and I just totally missed them. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Ow. Hello, Spidey. Ow! He's attacking me through the planks. That doesn't make any sense. There we go, take that. Oh, we found... Uh-oh. That is a Shrieker, if I ever saw one. So we gotta be careful down here. Oh my goodness. You know, Wardens are so terrifying. The first time I summoned a Warden, it just popped out of the ground right in front of me. And I was... I. It freaked me out, and I was so on edge for like the next hour. My adrenaline was just through the roof. Okay. Now how do I get over there without setting that thing off? Will it help if I sneak? Oh, I made a... got an advancement. Okay, they don't hear me. So it looks like I don't need to have wool. Ha! There we go. Problem solved. I wish I had Silk Touch. I'd like to get those. But for now, I'm going to take this XP while I can get it. Get up to level 30 so I can get some proper enchantments, maybe on another pickaxe. So, let's dig through here and see if we can find either an ancient city or... Oh my goodness, these creep me out so much. Especially with headphones. Jeez. I need to find a lava pool, and I eventually need to find skulk wood for some of the builds I have in mind, so let's just dig. Okay, we have some kind of crevice in the rocks. Maybe this is like supposed to be a fault line, but I don't see any lava. No lava. <gasps> There's lava! Sweet! First, let me cover my back here, make sure I don't get ambushed. Ooh, a zombie spawner! Nice! A zombie spawner with no chests! I feel chipped! Make this a little safer, a little more accessible. Oh, it keeps going. Let's see what's all the way out there. Oh! Surprise! I got me some shiny blue rocks! Gimme that! Now I still hear a lot of lava, so let's dig down and yep, there's some. Okay. Let's make all of this safe by turning it all into obsidian. Oh, hello. Being a YouTuber is frustrating for many reasons, one of which I just discovered the hard way. I went to the nether and had a very successful trip. I found more diamonds, I got nether warts, and I got blaze rods so we can make that potion I was talking about. But I had a hiccup with my recording software, and I missed all of it. So, I can't do that to you guys. I'm going to go back to the nether and show you all the cool stuff we found, because this is absolutely insane. So I put my nether portal down here because I didn't want it close to my house, because it's noisy, it's spooky. And we're back into the depths. Get a look at this! Ho ho ho! Man, oh man. My first reaction was a little embarrassing because I was so excited to see this. This is so amazing. So we have this pink biome with all these fluorescent glowing plants. Then we have these yellow mushrooms and yellow bio shrooms. I'm actually going to take some of these home, add them to the collection of bio shrooms surrounding my house. Oh, I missed. There is skulk down here and skulk wood which is important for what I was planning to do. I think I talked about it, Skulkwood. I assumed the Skulkwood was in the overworld somewhere, but apparently that's another thing. So at some point in the future, I need to go over there and get that Skulkwood. And that's the fortress I found. I'm not going to go all the way over there. I found blazes and killed them. I killed some wither skeletons, but sadly didn't get any skulls. And where am I? And found some other treasure. I found some saddles. I found some horse armor. I think I showed in the chest I found some diamonds too. There's also a bastion right over there just past the fortress, so I'll be back soon, maybe with better gear to tackle that bastion, because bastions have incredible loot. 
What is this biome called? Oop, wrong button. I meant to press uh, F. No, uh, no, not a screenshot. F3. Uh, glistering meadow. That is cool. Oh, hello. There's a hole in the ground. I almost walked into that. And what? Are, look at these things. Glister, glister bulb. Can I plant it? Yeah, it just goes back on the ground. That is so cool. And this stuff is wacky. This is, this is bone meal. Marrow stone? Okay, so it randomly drops marrow or bone meal. That's weird. So all the biomes down here, there's this, the glistering meadow. Oops, wrong button again. <laughs> the glistering meadow. There's a blue version over there. I'm not sure what that's called. And then I forgot to look at what that was called over there, the yellow mushroom biome. Can I climb these? Oh, look at that, I can climb it. Oh, I fell. Now that we're done with that little recap, it looks like I need to sleep. Anyway, I also got back to level 30 and enchanted a diamond pickaxe. Sadly, it doesn't have unbreaking on it, but it has efficiency four and fortune three. Also found some more iron, not a whole lot, just enough to carry us over for a while. So honestly, you really didn't miss much. Just the, uh, just a little bit of action fighting wither skeletons and almost dying to a couple blazes. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So I decided to do some mining off camera and I heard lots of growls and I figured there might be a spawner over here. So I went ahead and hit record. So let's see if we can find what all of this racket is coming from. Okay, I think they are this way. I kind of hear them all around me, so maybe they're... Oh, there we go. As I suspected, it's a spawner. Oh, hello! That's what I call an airdrop delivery. Oh, no, no, let me out. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! I got mobbed! Oh, no! I had my Fortune 3 pickaxe down there. All right. Time to go rescue my stuff. If I can find it. Okay, it wasn't down there. I don't think. Oh, oh, I found it. Yes. That means I don't have to lose my things. Uh Oh, that's why I got stuck because that block was there and I had a hard time jumping out. Yeah, this is what you get for everything you did. Are you wearing my armor? Give that back. Oh my goodness. Give back my pants. Making me horribly indecent. Okay, now how do I get to that spawner without creating a, a death trap? Ah, here's the edge of it. Perfect. Hello? Oops, put that back. Hello, fellas! Oh, well, now what are you gonna do? You can't reach me! Ho oh. ho Okay, what kind of loot do we have? We got two more cat discs. Two in the same chest. That's weird. What about over here? Another saddle. Oh, we got 13. The spooky one. Got him. Okay. Didn't get him. <laughs> I almost died. Okay. Now that we have everything we need to make our potion of weakness, as soon as night falls again, I'm going to go and release our zombified villager from the boat we left him in last episode and I will lure him to my house, and I will trap him, maybe, I don't know, in this enchanting area, and I will cure him. Advancement made, local brewery, sweet. I had a slight change of plans. I figured that since that, since that zombie picked up a torch, he'll also pick up a helmet, which will protect his head while we travel through the daylight. And daylight means there's no other mobs to harass us while we try to safely transit him over to this house. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, hello. It looks like you've been joined by a friend. Let's uh, get rid of him. And now I have to, where do you think you're going? Come back here. Now I have to somehow get him out of the boat without breaking it. So let's very, very carefully pop him out. I think I can... Let's see, F3H? No, that's advanced tooltips. Uh, is it uh, B? Aha, hitboxes. There we go. Oh, no, 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 I forgot, I forgot. No! Get in the book, the, the boat. No! I forgot to give him the helmet. Oh, no! Huh, well, I guess we'll have to, um, 
zombify some of these guys or some of the villagers over this mountain. All right, now that the sun's going down, I'm going to head over to that village and sow the seeds of chaos a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to zombify some villagers and then I'm going to lead them back to me. I'll trap them here and cure them, hopefully three, so I, or maybe even four, so I could really maximize the effect of my potions because I don't want to waste them. All right, dude. It's time for you to get boatified. Hop on in. That's right. Oh, yeah. This could be a problem. I don't want you to kill my zombified villagers when they're converted. Excuse me, Mr. Cleric. No, no, no. Wrong way, wrong way. Come back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go to that bed. Go to bed over here. Actually, get in the boat. There we go. I might be able to get all three smiths in one go if I can trap a third guy. Would you like to, uh... Would you like to go to bed? Huh? Huh? What are you doing? There's nothing in here for you except safety. Ooh, a bell. There we go. I made him panic. Do not get in bed. There we go. Perfect. Now let me lead you over to where we have the other two villagers. And then I'll lure a zombie over. And then listen as you die. <laughs> oh, ah, no, no, no. Not my, not my precious villager. You will not foil me this time. Okay, he almost foiled me. <laughs> that was way too close. I think I was at half a heart. Okay, you, you might be able to help me. So let me just uh, eliminate this other green explodey guy. There we go. Okay. Yes, I see you. I see you. Perfect. Are you kidding me? Oh no, the sun is rising. Uh, I may have to come back and finish this after... Uh, yeah, I may have to come back for this. <laughs> Great. Well, I got villagers and boats, which is good. Your services are no longer required. All right, the sun is going down again. I've been collecting lots of wood and I think I have enough willow wood to build the barn. Now I just need a lot of red wood and some other forms of wood and a hello. Ho oh, look at this. We have someone already. Let's just lead him back with us and then go back for the villagers that I left in a boat over there. Okay, I have a boat. Let me let this guy in. Come on in, my esteemed guest. That's right. Come on inside. Welcome to your new house. All right. Now that we have him safely secured, let's go collect the others. Once they're zombified, of course. All right. Now I just need to hang out in the area long enough for a zombie to notice these guys. Oh, here's one. So as soon as I go in the house, he is going to lose interest in me and he's going to start messing with these guys. Now let's watch. Oh, why did you get in the boat? He's still looking at me. He's like, watch this. <laughs> and they traded places for some reason. Let's break this boat. I think that was F3B. Okay. Give the same treatment to those ones. Perfect. You're going to be my friends. My troop. My roommates. Uh-oh. That's this could be a problem. Now where are the others? There's one. Where's the third guy? Alright, well. Maybe he got lost somewhere, but time's not on our side, so I have to move quick and bring them back with me to the to the house where they'll be safe. Although, perhaps if I offer a helmet, if worse comes to worst, at least that one will be safe. Come on, I see the sun coming up. Hurry! Come on! A whole army is coming after me. Oh no, where'd the last one go? Oh, I gotta cut my loss as well as I can. Although you have a helmet, you'll be fine. Where's the other guy? It may be too late. Come on, where is he? If I could just get him into the boat and quickly build a roof over his head, Aha! Not you, Creeper! You're spoiling everything! 
No! There we go. Now as soon as you stop burning... Ah, oh, okay. My special guest. Come on. You can do it. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> One of those guys spawned in a rock. Okay. Oh, they just spotted me. Don't mind me, fellas. I'm just just um dealing with a uh, a lost friend here. Perfect. And now these guys in a minute will be cured. And what's going what's all this horroring going on outside? Did they come to my door? Oi! Get away from my house! I don't see where they are. Oh, there he is. Oh, the raid captain. Okay, now you're hurt. Follow me, big guy. Ow. Why did he come down while all the others didn't? That's weird. I hope those aren't piercing crossbows. Oh, good. Maybe they're just unbreaking or something. Yeah, that's right. Shoot your leader. <laughs> there we go. Good job. And this weakness is affecting my ability to kill them. There we go. Taken care of. Well, that was an adventure. Oh, there we go. Let's reapply that to you. Let's make a smithing table and start trading for tools. What a deal. Give me all them emeralds. And what is your final stage? Pickaxes. Oh, he doesn't have diamond hose. That's annoying. What are you looking at? Cover me with diamonds. Yes. Our first diamond gear and a top off the outfit, helmet, and chest plate. Woo! We have a full diamond outfit now. Smite two. All right. Anyway, we have complete diamond gear. I need to build a blacksmith place for you guys to get you out of my house. Oh, I just noticed I'm level 32 again. Come on, efficiency four, efficiency four, please. Fortune three? No, 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 no. I don't want that. Oh, that's it. That's annoying. Okay, well now I'm level 29 again, so. All right, let's try this now. I'm breaking three, that's good. Oh my goodness, it's the same as this one. Well, that's disappointing, but uh, okay. We'll just uh, put it away with sadness. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're going on an adventure and I brought snacks. And for some reason, you don't make sound effects when you just eat those out of my hand. Now, I don't remember exactly where the Redwood Forest was, but I think there's one somewhere that way. So let's climb over this mountain. Okay, so we almost can't see through your head. So we have a jungle over there. And oh, there's the redwood. All right. Okay, here we are. The redwood forest. Allow me to disembark and make a little pit for you. Come back. Yeah, see, there he goes. He's off to go on, he's off to go on his own adventure. <laughs> Do you fit? There we go. Well, this trip is done. Let's go home, my friend. You did well. Look at that tree. <laughs> Doesn't that look funny? This is because I planted numerous saplings next to each other, so we have a weird L-shaped tree. <laughs> That's another block that we need a lot of for this barn, is spruce logs. So I, as soon as I sleep, I'm gonna... Oh, it's raining saplings. As soon as I sleep, I'm gonna go cut that down. Oh, oh, forgot. Gotta put my horse away. All right. Sleep tight, bud. I'm gonna build your home. All right. I've been pretty busy off camera collecting resources, mostly stone and a few other things from the ground. I've also got some vines so I can make some mossy variants for the roof and uh, hello. So yeah, I've decided to build my barn right there instead of across the river because this is easier to reach and the style doesn't fit with what I plan to build over there. So, without any further delay, let's build.
you're probably wondering how I got down here. Well, I don't know, but I do know that it wasn't a cheap attempt at comedy. Definitely not. Anyway, let's look at our work. I think my favorite bit is the little crane thing lifting up the platform of, of uh, hay, straw bales. So we have a hay loft up here, a food storage for all of our animals. We have our throw bread right here, our majestic white stallion, very fast, very good jumper. And his brother, the slightly less talented, but still lovable, uh, why was your face in the wall? We did do some interior work. As, as you saw, I have the hay loft up there. I walled this area off and behind this door is the beginnings of our trading hall. Not all of it, I'm actually gonna break the trading hall into multiple buildings based on the theme. So obviously farmers are gonna go here. There's supposed to be sticky pistons in these slots, but I don't have uh, I don't have any slime, so I can't make the sticky pistons yet. I did find some additional villagers, or zombified villagers, and lured them to my house, captured them in boats, and cured them. So this guy is the reason why I have these delicious golden carrots. But unfortunately, he doesn't have a pumpkin trade, so we'll probably use him as one of the breeders, which we're going to put above all this. You see, what we're going to do is we're going to build a platform or the ceiling is going to be the floor of the breeder above. And then we'll have a villager baby sorter system. And then at the touch of a button, boop, a villager, adult villager will be sucked out and then deposited onto a walkway where they can walk around, choose a workstation, jump down and be forever trapped there. And then I would plug the ceiling so they can't get back or so other villagers don't follow them in. And I missed a block, uh, whoops. And right here is the beginnings of our, well, you saw I was stuck down there. <laughs> That's actually gonna be, this is gonna be our pumpkin and melon collector. What I'm gonna do is put an automatic melon and pumpkin farm and they will deposit the melons and pumpkins into a water elevator, which will come up right here. And then it will flow over this hopper and it will fill these up. We have overflow protection and the overflow will flow over to this hopper and be converted into bone meal. So if you enjoyed what you saw today, consider liking the video and definitely subscribe to the channel. I am really excited for the direction this is going and I am not excited for the zombie coming up behind me. So please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.